Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna be showing you how to automatically fade in and fade out or automatically duck music or audio in Premiere Pro. So this is what we're gonna be doing today. You'll see that I have a voice clip right here. So this is me just reading off a Wikipedia article for something to say. And then down here we have music, but you'll notice that right here are keyframes. And these keyframes were not created by me. They were created by Premiere Pro. And you'll notice that whenever the voice stops, the music, which this is, comes up in volume. And then right when my voice begins, it goes down in volume. And it does this every single time throughout the clip. And this is what automatic ducking does. Premiere Pro does this for you. And so that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this clip and then clear the audio types on all of these clips. I'm then going to take my music and drag it in. So now I have my voice layer and then my music layer. On the voice layer up top, I wanna to highlight all three of them and go over here into the essential sound panel. To find that, if it's not open for you, go up to window and then down to essential sound right here. If you don't see this or this isn't something you can select, uh, you need to probably update your Premiere Pro to a newer version. I believe it was released maybe a year ago. So just go ahead and update that and then you can use the essential sound panel. So now we're going to go ahead and highlight all of this right here and then we're going to just turn it on to dialogue. We can go ahead and, I mean, we can go in here and enhance it and change things around, but that's not what this tutorial is about. What we need is just to mark them all as the dialogue audio type. Now we're gonna go down into our music and I'm just going to apply a overall reduction of about minus eight, just because it starts off a little bit loud in relation to everything else. I'm then going to go in here and I'm gonna turn this to music. And you'll notice in here we have the effect of ducking. So now we can turn that on and this ducking panel becomes available to us. First off, we have something called duck against and that's just what is it going to be ducking for? Uh, think of ducking like sort of you're ducking like you're lowering your head and that's what you're doing with the audio is you're having it duck beneath the voice and then come back up every time. So what do we want to duck the music behind? Do we wanna do it against dialogue, other music, um, sound effects or ambience clips, everything else, all those types that we can assign this to, we can duck against. However, what we wanna do is we wanna duck it against the voice right here. So that's what we're gonna have. It's by default on this because that's ma the majority of the use cases. The sensitivity is how you know sensitive is it going to be when it chooses to duck the audio down and, and up. Say you're recording a soccer game. Is a scream on the field going to dock your music down or is the narrator or the, uh, the announcer going to duck it down. You can sort of fine tune that so that you don't have these weird ducks where you know someone yells something really, really far away and all of your music goes down for a couple seconds and then comes back up. So you have to fine tune that and make sort of little adjustments. The reduce by is how much you want the music to reduce whenever your voice starts speaking. Uh, in this situation, it's at minus 18, and this is pretty standard for uh, ducking. If, however, your audio is really, really quiet with that, you can, of course, bring this up or down uh, if you wanna even make it even more quiet. The fade is how fast the fade is gonna be. Uh, a sharper fade is better for faster paced action, sort of like a vlog or something, and a, lower, a slower one is better for like uh, documentaries or narrated pieces. Once we are done with sort of setting our effects up. All we have to do is just click this generate keyframes button and you'll see that now we have the keyframes that are created. And what's cool about this is we can actually, you know, drag our keyframes around if we don't like what it did. And then we can click generate and it'll just go back to what it was at the beginning. So you'll notice that it's just created these. This is the fade right here. This is the 800 milliseconds on each end. So if we shorten this up, if we went to, you know, 500 instead and hit generate keyframes, you'll notice that they all shorten and then the point where it's actually um, actually being ducked goes a little bit higher. So, or a little bit longer on each of these. So now let's just take a listen and let's see how this is working out. Marine Corps. Audio comes up. Sousa returned to the Marines for a 12 year stint as head of the US Marine Band, including two presidential inauguration balls. Later in life, he formed, and there you have it. You have this automatic ducking, and it actually sounds really good. And for this, I actually found that 500 works best. I was uh, playing around with a little earlier. 800 seems a little bit long. It sounds like the music goes down, and we have to wait a little bit for the narrator to speak. However, in this situation, the 500 
feels like it fits the most. Anyway, that is automatic ducking. Really, really simple to do. All you have to do is just really click a couple of buttons and all of these keyframes are created for you. Saves you a ton of time and it, it really, really sounds great. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and them in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related products. And until next time, guys, see ya.